today's video from Sharper, we're going to look at how you can set up the copy receipt function on the XEA213 register. <clears throat> so on the machine is standard, you can have the receipt switched on or you can have the receipt switched off. But what you cannot do is print out a copy of a already printed receipt. Um, I'm not quite sure why this is the way, but it is. You can't do it as standard and you need to activate the functionality. Uh, this information is in the manual, but it's... Um, it's kind of buried away a bit, so if you've got a copy of the manual, I'm using pages 65 and um, what's the other one you need for it? And 68. Um, so there's a flowchart on page 65, um, which you then need to input certain information, and I'll, I'll basically show you how I've worked it out as well as just showing you how to do it. So hopefully the manual will make a bit more sense to you. So the, so the flowchart is the same for all the advanced programming functions, um, but if you're looking up to set up the copy receipt functionality, that's when page 68 of the manual comes in. We're looking at job code 63 because that's the one has the, that has the function for copy receipt. Um, so it, it looks like a load of gobbledygook, but it but it does actually make sense. So. 63 is the job code so if you look at the flow chart you've got subtotal then the job code which for us is 63 then the multiply button which you'll see on the flow chart and then the key bit is this information here which are basically taken from um, under the entry column so i've left all these what well, all these job codes all these jobs i guess they are or settings i've left them at the default apart from d which is copy receipt which is set to no as standard for some unknown reason and I'm just changing that to yes but the way the machines work is you can't just go in and change one thing or type in one bit of the code you have to enter the whole code so I'm leaving all this all these as the standard settings and I'm just changing copy receipt to to yes so I'll show you how to do it um, so if we turn back to 65 so I've basically got all that that information my zeros and ones from my job code 63. So hopefully once I've done it, it'll, it'll make sense. So I'll just prove, I'm in reg mode at the moment. If I put a sale through, I'll get a receipt print out as standard. And if I try and print a copy one, I'll just, the till just beeps at me. So to set the function up, it's the um, key round PGM, subtotal, 63, which is my job code, multiply, and then I'm entering my zeros and ones here. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Subtotal, TLNS. You get a little receipt printout confirming the job code changes that you've made. And then the next time you process a transaction, if you've got the receipt switched on, um, then obviously the receipt will print out, but you'll also be able to print a copy receipt. Um, I wonder how it works if you've got receipt off. So if you uh, of course you can't into the wrong mode isn't it? You appears you can print as many copies as you want once you've got the functionality set up and if you have it with the receipt off then process a transaction obviously you don't get the receipt print out but you can have it printed on request and you can also have copies of the receipt as well Okay, I hope that video made sense. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And for more information on the Sharp Cash Registers, you can visit sharphelp.co.uk. Thanks for watching.